What's going on everybody, it's me Super Dave and you all are watching Milltown's Best. You all remember when I was talking about Boogie2988 the other day and how he is going down the road of influencer boxing and along this road he has met Keemstar and Keemstar is kind of holding his hand and saying hey man I got a fight for you and this fight is going to be with Wings of Redemption. Now I'm not sure who Wings of Redemption really is but I know he's got a massive following online and both of these men are, are uh, rather rotund past their prime online influencers influencers and I say that with love because seriously I love Boogie I mean seriously there's nothing else I can say about that Boogie is like uh the ultimate underdog and he is kind of a hypochondriac kind of um sheltered he always has been he's he's had a rough past uh he's been divorced he's been through it all and you know these past couple years he's been hitting financial hard times and uh, it seems like he's he's really doing whatever he can. He's almost like Virgil in the professional wrestling scene. For those of you guys who know who Virgil is, he used to be with the Million Dollar Man. You know, he has a reputation of kind of doing anything for a buck this day and age. And I just hope that this isn't what Keemstar has him doing, you know, uh, doing a song and dance, you know, singing for his supper. Because uh, the trailer, guys, the trailer just dropped for the Boogie 2988 Wings of Redemption fight. And I'm not going to lie, guys, this trailer is very well done. Keemstar really uh, seems to be throwing some money into his production. And um, remember when I was saying there have absolutely been no promotion at all for this fight. I wasn't even sure what card was hosting this fight. Was it a happy punch card? Was it some uh, English promotion? And I still don't know that. All I know is that this match is going to be on the pre-show of the next KSI fight. Which, you know, tells me a lot, which we'll talk about after this trailer, guys. But let's dive into this trailer because uh, it's something special, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. Not gonna lie, this is the first time I've really laid eyes on this uh, Jordy Wings of Redemption fella. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, he's rather rotund. Uh, I would argue that the man is bigger than Boogie at this point. Um, Tell me I'm lying, guys. It, I don't know, they haven't released heights, weights, reaches, all that stuff yet. Um, so hopefully we got something coming here. I hope Keem isn't putting all of his eggs in this basket. But this could be something good and bad for Happy Punch. Um, but we'll talk more about that as this trailer goes on. Good. Hitting the pizza is awesome. Both these big men have little dogs. Did you guys notice that or am I the only one? <laughs> it's cute. And the history with me is I didn't show up to the uh, the camping trip, which I've showed up to everything else. I, like, I've always put it this way. I literally flew to Mexico and paid a man that doesn't speak English to cut my stomach out. You could do more. Smart, smart. Um, Do what you want to do, pal. But, you know, I'm not going to lie. With, when I posted my last video, you had fans leaving comments on my last video, Wings, that uh, you are known for your unreliability, that seriously, you are known as a no-show. So I honestly hope Keem puts something in the paperwork that you ain't getting paid if you don't show up to this fight. I'm sure Keem is an honest and, and honorable businessman, but uh, seriously, I hope this doesn't cost him money due to unprofessionalism and you no-show and you seem like you uh, have been there this far, so I don't want to put that out there. But I didn't know if you knew that you have a reputation of being a no-show, but apparently you do. On to the trailer, guys. More damage to that back, and the back is barely holding on. You could end up having a stroke or heart attack. You get punched in the chest. You can create a clot. There's all kinds of things that can happen here. Why are you doing this? And the reason I'm doing this is because it is dangerous. Right? Like, that's the thing that I've always been afraid of, man. Reiterating what he said in his uh, YouTube video. Uh, we were doing pad work with him. He's put in the work. Like, he's hitting the pads hard. So I take it that's, that's Keem either. I, I don't even want to speculate on that. All I'll say is... Nice dye job on the beard, Keem. It takes about 
three years off of your age. What are you, uh, 62 now? That's our Jokes, team King, jokes. It doesn't matter, he's knocking you off. Jokes, Keem, before you and your team downvote my next video like you did my last one. I uh, like to think shenanigans from Keemstar. Oh. With what? I mean, like, the dude's got arthritis in his fucking hips. What? What is all this? This is my haunted house stuff. You see this out every year, man. Last as long as it was as strong as that chair. What, are you on Pornhub or something? No, man. I'm checking Twitter. You know me. It's like, I don't care if the YouTube thing works out or not. Like, honestly, it was great. It was a good experience in life. I wouldn't change it. But if I had to move on and do something else, it's, it is what it is. I'll be honest with you. One of the things I'm fighting for here is this collection. I don't want to. I don't want to lose some of the cool shit that I have. I wonder if he's gonna go Ladies with. Ladies and a, gentlemen, drama alerts. I wonder if he's gonna go with like a heartfelt piece, you know, a feeling piece. And Happy Punch presents Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight Wings of Redemption. That's a good tagline. 800 pounds. So for those of you guys who don't know, uh, I've been involved in professional wrestling here in Wisconsin for quite some time. I've seen a lot. I really have. And uh, what this tells me, guys, is Keemstar's pull isn't as good as it used to be, guys. Um, Keemstar got a match on a pre-show. Um, here in Wisconsin, especially in the local professional wrestling scene, we do pre-shows, and usually pre-shows are used to show off a new talent, talent that just got out of training. This will be their first match. The promotion could be scouting a talent, and they want them to come out, and they'll say, hey, come work a match on our pre-show. So um, also, it could be a sold match. You know, sometimes there's these, uh, I, I don't want to say wannabe promoters, but sometimes there's these wannabe promoters who come in and say, hey, man, can I have two matches on your card? I'll pay you X amount of dollars, but on these two matches, I can book them how I want to book them, and I can use the talent I want to use, like a sold match. So that could be essentially what we got here because this is the pre-show of the KSI fight that's happening. Um, as you can tell, it looks like on this flyer, it looks like they actually cut out the actual promotion's name that's booking this fight, that the actual card is. looks like there's no promotion there. Um, all it says is, you know, Wings versus Boogie on the KSI pre-show. tells you the, you know, the arena name. And it makes sure that there's Happy Punch. So is this a Happy Punch sponsored match? Or is this a Happy Punch card? Seriously, guys, this stuff needs to be cleared up. And if I wanted tickets, where could I get tickets? I mean, the show is on May 13th, guys. And there's just, like, nothing out here. I hope Keem isn't just throwing this together, guys. It seems like he's throwing some money at this. I would just hate for it all to be a waste. This could really be what Happy Punch needs to really just catapult them into the influencer boxing sphere more than they already are. Keem doesn't want to become the laughing stock, and he's on that road, guys. I feel like Keem is going to become the laughing stock of the boxing community, and we can't let that happen. I mean, Keem has already went through so much. I'm a fan of Keem. I may give him a hard time here and there, but I'm a fan of Keem stars. I'm just saying what I feel, and I feel like it is stuff like this, booking a match on a pre-show and then labeling it a happy punch. Seriously, Keem, this isn't a Happy Punch card. If it is a Happy Punch card, tell me the other matches. Tell me where I can get tickets. Tell me everything I need to know. This seems like you you got a friend to give you a pre-show match, bro. And hey, if that's what it is, at least say that's what it is and say you're hoping to grow from this, you know? But all I can say is that trailer was very well done, you know? I, I don't know which angle you're coming at this match. Is it a joke? Is it serious? Is it an underdog fight? What story are you telling? You know, that needs to be cleared up. I understand I'm asking some complex questions here and there's only a couple days left to the show, but there's this is stuff that needs to be answered. And if you're gonna build to something here, build to it, do it right, man. Don't half-ass it just because people are saying you can't, you don't have the rub, you don't have heat, you don't have juice. You know what I'm saying? Clearly you can get a match on a pre-show. Now build that pre-show match into a full card. You know what I'm saying? Just, just what I'm thinking, guys. I'm sorry. I got a lot on my mind, and I, I, I just saw this trailer, and I said, hey, man, this is content. So, Keem, I hope you're doing good. Good luck, Boogie. Good luck, Jordy. This could be something awesome, guys. With all that being said, guys, I love you, and tell somebody else you love them, too. Peace.